All right, for this show, we are at the uh, Mystic Distillery. It's uh, located in uh, Durham County, and we are getting things ready uh, to do a show here for the Groovinators. Well, as you can probably tell from the uh, sky, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. It's uh, Friday, and uh, it's probably around 2 o'clock. And it's a good 72 degrees. Uh, we're, look, we're looking forward to a good night. No issues, clear weather. Yeah, be careful putting it down because it will come apart. Okay. Wibble wobble. All right, normally we do not put the uh, sub on the stage. However, uh, not too sure how loud this event's gonna be. Uh, Cause the sub usually vibrates the stage, which can cause vibrations to get into the mics. Um, normally we put stuff on the ground, but the ground is uh, sort of wet. Looks like they had a lot of rain out here. So we're gonna start it out with on the stage. We'll see how it goes. Got the sun coming in. Uh, 
at the angle, on the fall angle here for the uh, United States. So we're having to just temporarily put a tarp up here to block out the um, sunlight coming in. So we can get the console set up here and get it all set up. Okay, we're going to be running the uh, runners um, across this threshold area between the uh, concrete pad and the gravel. The uh, normal uh, cable ramps that you've probably seen us use, this will probably work, but actually may be uh, more of a, of a problem. Uh, so anyway, we're trying to keep uh, the our presence here with the power and the snake going through here as uh, low as possible. So I think we're going to do the runners this time. Is everything okay there, Craig? Oh, yeah. You may be getting uh, microphones and stuff set up. Um, I'll give him a hand and then I'll come back right back. Well, we've got a lot of stuff done. We've got power out here now. Uh, the console's not turned on, uh, but our UPS 
and our dry rack is turned on and as always uh, look at the overhead over here that is taking up um, more area here than the actual console uh, the power boxes tent supplies over there's the tarp sidewalls we have the chairs uh, we have a front of house light this is for um, when we're loading out we need light uh, anyway stuff's coming together uh, Craig and Dennis have been working very hard getting the stage and stuff set up. Uh, but anyway, it's coming together. You didn't think I knew the word protege, did you? Came with the uh, tent here, uh, the side that temporarily set up. It's just to keep the light and stuff off of off the console. And we're going to be setting up um, uh, another tarp here because the sun should be coming down. And it's going to be overtaking the uh, right side of the area here. So we want to head that off. All right, now that that's up, uh, what we're going to do is, um, right before it starts, we're going to be uh, uh, taking the walls halfway down, so it's going to look like we're going to have um, some half walls around the whole tent area. It's to dress it up, keep the stuff hidden. We've got our tarp set up to uh, keep the radiation, uh, keep it down to a minimum. Uh, but already, and I just touched the bottom part of the tarp, it is hot. So, uh, and it's noticeably cooler underneath the tent here. So, and anyways, you can tell the, uh, the tarp is not exactly the size uh, for the tent, but that should be fine. Uh, we still want some ventilation up there. We just don't want the radiation coming down, uh, hitting all the gear and everything. So, well, we're getting there. That's run, okay. Um, Okay, so we're actually center and base yep, Dave, Dave. is the only ones we need. Speakers, right? And so even with the top on the tent, we really can't see anything. So once again, that's the problem with uh, digital boards is that you just can't quite see anything. So let me turn up the brightness. And the stuff you hear in the background, they're uh, putting up some kind of a light on the outside of the building that's going to illuminate the area tonight. Okay, so the backlight is able to um, illuminate uh, more of the uh, strips here, uh, the scribble strips. You can sort of see the screen, uh, but even with the LEDs on high, as you can tell, these things are uh, completely washed out. 
Right, so we're going to leave the stuff uh, sort of brightened. And, um, and as you can tell over here, uh, what they said about this area where we're at, as you can tell there's a big shade coming in. Uh, that's the sun going down behind the corner of the building. So um, hopefully uh, by the time the event starts, we should be in a good amount of shade, which hopefully uh, will help with uh, illuminating the console. said like by five or whatever, five thirty that a lot of the stuff would be covered. You know, the building would be blocking the sun. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah. Well into the next house on the right. Can we bring the Gruminator banner? Is it too much trouble? How about the Gruminator mobile? Where's that? Right, well, the sun is going right. down further behind the building, and it's getting a little bit darker here. The, uh, let's see, just to make sure. Yeah, the back lights are all on high, the LEDs are on high. I can just barely make out the colors, but I don't think they're showing up there on the video. Check, one, two, two, one, two, two, check, one. Two, test, one, two, 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 check, one. All right, that looks good. And right, let's remove the front. Okay, and something we're going to do here uh, a little bit differently. Let me fix this mic cable here real quick. The um, what we have here. This is uh, one of our Audix mics, ADX51, and this is going to be a crowd mic. And for people that are using in-ear monitors, uh, they can't hear anything going on except for what is coming through the mics. So. What that means is uh, people that are not using in-ears, they can hear the crowd. They can hear people, 
you know, asking them questions, they can hear people giving out requests. But if you're in ears, you don't hear any of that unless you have something like a crowd mic set up. So uh, we're gonna give this a try. We're not too sure how many people are gonna be here, but um, uh, what we're doing is we're gonna take this mic. It's not going in the front house PA. It's gonna be routed directly into the lead singers and ear monitors. So when he is done playing when, in between songs, we're gonna bring that mic up. And so it's gonna pick up any of the crowd noise that's gonna be out here. All right, I think we're just gonna keep the uh, front down and um, the back is wide open. But uh, we're going to leave the sides up uh, just so that people don't have to look in and see this uh, mess of things. One, two, two, one, two. Wow, 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 wow. Check one, two. Way down in the hole. Yeah, I'm going to play. Good. Together. Okay. Hi, Tom. Yeah, keep doing it. Okay, floor Tom. Not sure I've seen this board. Alright, let's try that. Okay, let's do your ride. Okay, give me about 20 seconds, something. Mix it up. Mix it up.
Thank you. Perfect. All right, Dennis. change on something here. The sax and the guitar are backwards. Okay, hang on. Too much, too much of that here. Okay. Bring some of that out of it. So what? What's that? Do you know where the input was? Hey, Bob, I need, uh, I need some I'll stuff. Get, I'll get okay. Like, All right. The sax and the guitar. Yeah, it looks like the sax and the guitar are backwards. You might be an ambassador in England or France. You might like to gamble, and yeah, you just might like to dance. You might be the heavyweight champion of the world. Socialist, the long string of pearls, but you're gonna have to send somebody. Gonna have to serve somebody. Now you might be the devil, might be the Lord, but you're gonna have to serve somebody.
guys it's a great show um, we're gonna be uh, breaking stuff down and doing a loadout All right, so what we got to do here is try to get um, anything that can be powered on. We need to get the cases on them as soon as possible. Uh, the temperature's dropped, and there's still quite a bit of humidity in the air, which means uh, condensation can start forming on the equipment. So it's really important to get everything covered as soon as possible. Hey John, do you have a second? Are you awesome? If you want to interview me for your channel. It's got casters on it, then we're going to go straight down. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, great. Sounds good. Excellent. Thank you, sir. What a beast. Yeah? Yeah, I did real well.
in here. We'll go ahead and sort it toward the last. Okay. Oh, we got some stands still up here. 